Welcome to Sarsa Swedet John Brisco. Teacher Rose, Teacher Esgreen, Teacher Joanne, and Teacher Joyce welcomes you to your online lessons. Science Learning by doing floats and sink. Hi boys and girls, it's me again, Teacher Joanne from KG1-1, and I will be your science teacher for today. Are you ready to do some learning by doing? Great, let's do this! Before we begin our experiment, let's prepare the following materials. Repeat after me! Basin Water Ball Rubber ducky Pencil Spoon Leaf And a coin Or you can grab any materials that you want to test for this experiment and see if it floats or it sinks It's time for our vocabulary First word Float you repeat after me? Float. Very good. Now, let's spell the word. F L O A T. Float. So what does float mean? Okay. Float means when the object stays on top of the water. That's float. You can look at the picture. For our second vocabulary is sink. Repeat after me, sink. Now let's spell the word S I N K. Sink. Very good, boys and girls. So, what does sink mean? Sink means when the object is put in the water and it goes down under. It didn't stay on top. You can look at the clip. Now, let's proceed to our experiment. Are you ready? Let's go. It's going to be so much fun. Let's begin our experiment first. Let's put the bowl and let's see what happens to the bowl. Da -da -da. What happened to the bowl? Did it float or sink? Did it stay on top or it went down in the water? Very good, it floats. Excellent. Now let's try the spoon. Let's see if the spoon sinks or floats. Let's see. Oh, look at that. This spoon sinks into the water. Okay, let's try another one. Rubber ducky! Let's see if the rubber ducky is going to float or going to sink in the water. <gasps> A rubber ducky floats! Can you say float? Excellent! Now we have our pencil. Can you say pencil? Good. Now we're going to put it in our basin and see if it floats or sink. Oh, the pencil floats. Can you say float? Say it again one more time. The, the pencil floats. Okay, next is our coin. You have your coin? Now let's drop the coin in our basin. <gasps> The coin sinks in the water. You say it? The coin sinks in the water. The last one, we have our leaf. Let's see what happens to the leaf if we put it in the water. <gasps> it floats! Excellent! Can you repeat after me? The leaf floats. Very good. That's the end of our experiment. Please don't forget to do your worksheets. I have two sheets prepared. The other paper, you have to cut out the pictures and stick it to your worksheet. I will see all of you again in our next lesson. Bye!